Hello to everybody, Future Trend Channel is again with you. Today is 29 of June 2018, and as you can see, the euro dollar is very well supported at the moment, uh, as also some other uh, euro crosses. That's because uh, the European Union leaders finally reached an agreement on migration, and uh, from a point of view of fundamental analysis, uh, that's a uh, really very good kind of news for the future stability of European Union and political stability of uh, German leader uh, Angela Merkel. From that point of view, uh, the euro dollar as well as some other uh, euro crosses should remain uh, supported in the coming uh, uh, hours, in the coming sessions. Uh, first of all, let's see uh, the situation with the euro dollar. Uh, as you could see, we uh, really uh, rather far from the lows of previous trading session uh, registered at 11527 and uh, to really improve the situation the euro dollar should break about 117 where lies uh, a first uh, kind of uh, a meaningful resistance in the form of uh, uh, current uh, downtrend uh, and th in that case uh, the euro dollar could uh, receive some additional boost and in the coming session could even retest at the highs of um, at the highs of uh, middle of June, uh, registered at 11851. Also, another really strong resistance barrier located around the uh, highs of middle of May, at uh, registered at 11995. And uh, here also lies uh, moving average 200 daily line around 1987 uh, all in all uh, the level psychological uh, level 120 presents a kind of tougher barrier to break at the moment for the euro dollar anyway we remain slightly positive over the euro dollar at the moment in the coming session and suggest uh, that uh, our idea of uh, taking another uh, position a long position at 11550 is at the moment is uh, real effective as regarding some other currencies, uh, as you could see, the dollar yen still affected uh, uh, by current uh, stance of the United States uh, President Administration on trading issues. And uh, also the same applies for commodity block of currencies, because from one uh, point of view, from uh, one side, um, uh, the commodity currencies should remain supported because of higher energy prices, for example, and... Um, uh, but at the, at the same time we see some uh, negative news, some negative developments for the commodity block of currencies in the form of uh, current, uh, uh, current trading initiatives um, conducting uh, by a United States uh, President administrations. And uh, mm, uh, we suggest uh, also that uh, for the euro crosses uh, they should uh, remain supported in the coming hours because of the last news on migration uh, policy in the European Union. That's why we suggest to keep our long position entered this morning in the euro sterling at 0 0.8885 and uh, that uh, uh, should uh, proceed further smoothly to the upside as we suggested because as uh, you could see the chart on the euro sterling uh, first of all we break above uh, 8818 where lies moving coverage 200 daily line and from that point of view we suggest that any um, down tick to um, form a kind of uh, resistance barrier located at 884050 should present an opportunity to enter additional longs in the euro sterling uh, we suggest that in the coming session the pair should aim for the highs of uh, October last year, October, November last year, registered around 0 0.9020, 0 0.9030. As regarding some other currencies, the Euro Swiss franc, from the point of view of technical analysis, should remain. Um, should remain negatively viewed uh, while trading uh, below its uh, moving coverage 200 daily line located at 116.64 but fundamentally the pair should receive some uh, support in the form of, uh, uh, of uh, recent uh, migration 
uh, recent migration initiatives um, that was uh, reached in the European Union. Thank you very much for all of your attention uh, of uh, our channel. Uh, here it's our um, uh, analysis of major currencies uh, and uh, we wish you a pleasant uh, profitable day ahead as well as good uh, kind of uh, uh, weekend for all of you dear friends.